Yeah, I hope all you are good. We are going again today to look at a question on business data analysis, specifically looking at uh, whenever we are dealing with uh, capital constraints, uh, yeah, whenever the money that we have is a limiting factor. So whenever you are dealing with the capital budgeting and the finances available are limited, so how do you deal with the project, so how do you invest the combination of projects in order to achieve uh, the desired NPV. So we shall look at this particular question and it reads XYZ Limited is considering six investment projects in the following details. So we have the project one to six, the initial outlay and the net present value. Additional project six is expected to generate the following annual cash flow. So we have been given year one to year four. Uh, the sales, the cost. Project 6 cash flow are exclusive of inflation at the rate of 4% per year for sales income and 5% per year for the cost. The cost of capital is 10%. Due to management reluctance to raise additional finance, the capital for investment is currently restricted to 5 million. So we have a constraint in capital. So we have only 5 million to undertake 6 projects. Project 1, 3, 5, and 6 are all independent but project 2 and project 4 are mutually exclusive when you talk about projects that are mutually exclusive it means that undertaking project 2 will prevent us from undertaking project 4 that both 2 and 4 cannot be undertaken at the same time all the above projects are divisible and none can be delayed or repeated so i require the net present value for project 6 yeah this project 6 Remember here you don't have the net present value for this. That's what we need to calculate. So I'll first copy this. And copy that. I paste it here. Yeah, I'll paste it there. So after copying this one, we know that project six cash flow are exclusive of inflation at the rate of four percent per year. So we shall adjust that. Our inflation 1 plus R, so we shall have 1.04 for the 4% and for the expense 1.05. 1.05. So this one, I'll multiply this. Multiplied by into or multiplied by just directly this value and see now it will not pick because it had not included the is equals to value so this one uh, multiplied by this value and you enter so I'll activate this first all of them by putting the equal sign activate them the cell by putting equal sign Activate the cell by putting equal sign by putting equal sign by putting equal sign and putting equal sign that way. So this one I will multiply by this one and I enter this one I multiply by 1.04 to capture the inflation multiply by this one to capture the inflation multiply by this to capture the inflation multiply by this to capture the inflation multiply by this to capture inflation and you multiply by this to capture the inflation then this one uh, I'll put now negative sign. I've forgotten again that negative sign. Because the cost we are minusing. Negative sign. Negative sign. So that our cash flow we shall get there. And put a equals and enter and I drag this. Yeah, that way. So that my NPV, therefore, I'll have my rate here first. Our rate is 10%. 10%. 
ten percent so that our NPV will be equals to NPV I tab that need the rate comma I highlight this my cash flow I close that and I minus uh, the initial outlay our initial was 15 and I enter that so I will format this into a figure and I just need it to zero decimal that way 450 it will be my NPV so here my NPV will be that way. so NPV for project 6 will be 458 so that one we have answered this number two optimal investment or we are calling it optimal what optimal investment combination optimal 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 investment combination optimal investment combination optimal investment combination uh, here amount available we have a amount available of uh, 5 million shillings in thousand shillings in thousand shillings in thousand that way and we shall have our NPV here NPV NPV there so before we do that we shall have us to rank this yeah whenever we are uh, allocating the amounts available we rank these eh, based on profitability index and before we do the profitability index we get the cash flows here the way they arrived at the net present value was the cash flow the present value of cash flow minus the IO so to get the cash flow we add yeah we add the two of them we just add this plus this and we can drag this yeah that one will be our cash flow you can insert a column here and with this one now you can get my PI PI is a profitability index PI is a PV over inflow we divide by PV of outflow. You enter that. You get one point that. And again, I will drag that. Yeah, and I will insert another one here. Still. Uh, but with this one now, I will put my rank. You just rank manually. The highest being this, 1.5. Followed by this, 1.4. Number 3, 1.45. Number 4 number five and this will be number six so that means uh, when you're dealing with the amounts available here the first project to invest in will be project number number this one yeah let me just reduce this yeah <clears throat> amount available so the project to invest in number one is project three shall deal with project three and project three requires uh, uh, 1125 which will be negative and it has an NPV mm, project 3 NPV of that so the balance here our balance will be halt equals shall have a balance of that the second project to invest in is project 5 uh, and uh, project 5 will be equals to minus project 5 requires 13 and uh, it has an NPV project 5 of 635 so the balance here that we shall have I'll use alt equals the two of them here alt equals and I'll use the top border yeah, top border there even here you was to include top border that way that is a balance 
Then the third project to invest in is project four. And remember project four was the one that was mutually exclusive. Project four which requires 1850 with an NPV project 4 of 840 so here the balance balance will be alt equals this to my end balance of that so here I will put the top border that way so you'll find that now after that 725 the next after project 4 Number four is project two, but four and two are mutually exclusive, meaning that we cannot undertake both of them. So project two shall not undertake because already we have undertaken project number four. And because of that, we go to the next after number four is number five, which is uh, project number one. So with uh, project number one here, we undertake project one, we shall undertake it fully at the balance that we have of 725 and it has an NPV which we shall apportion now this multiplied by what we have invested this over the total amount that one so we shall get that and here the balance will be zero balance of it will be zero I'll take equals the two of them the two of them will be zero and use top and bottom border yeah top and bottom border that way and here we'll use alt equals i add them our result and then pv yeah that will be our resultant npv for the projects that already we have undertaken yeah the projects that already we have undertaken considering that we have undertaken them based on the ranking they are based on the ranking and considering that they are what they are divisible considering that they are divisible and that's how that particular question so we have an npv of 458 we have the projects that we have already done and we have the resultant npv yeah our resultant npv which is a 2447.75 shillings in thousand so that's how this particular question on capital budgeting and where we have the restricted amount that we need to invest in different projects is supposed to be done thank you for your time continue subscribing to this channel for more content